Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. We have an article here that shows uh, Ukraine, and not Ukraine, but the sanctions on Russia. Ukraine is a transit country of Russian oil that goes through certain pipelines. And it seems like we have a little problem here, which is some payments were not uh, received by whomever had to receive them and uh, the oil could not flow from Russia to uh, Europe, which is Czech Republic, Slovakia and Hungary in this case. And there is some problem because Ukraine is in the middle, that's the transit country. So I, I have two articles here and they talk about the same thing, but uh, they give a little bit uh, different kind of, a different kind of um, semantics, they use different kind of words to say the same thing, but I'm going to use both here and there. So this first one comes from Reuters from August 9th, 2022. And this is the title. Ukraine halted oil flows to Europe over payment issue, Russian Transneft said. It says uh, Ukraine has suspended Russian oil pipeline flows to parts of Central Europe since early this month because Western sanctions prevented it from accepting transit fees from Moscow. Russian pipeline monopoly Transneft said on Tuesday. So we have a problem here where the Russians had to pay some money, not accepted, and the other guys said, oh, you didn't send us the money for the transit. So we're going to shut it off. Now this is how it's over here. But on the other one is a different, uh, this is about the Druzhba, Druzhba pipeline. So flow, flows along the southern route of the Druzhba pipeline have been affected while the northern route serving Poland and Germany remains uninterrupted. So the suspe suspensions of pipeline flows on Tuesday will hit countries as Slovakia, Hungary and Czech Republic not anybody else and then they scramble to see how they're going to find out who's paying what's paying and uh, the thing is it's about the money who was not uh, it says here that uh, it's about money who who were not received because of the i don't know in what kind of uh, currency they paid and what were the contractual uh, requirements it says russia's transneft said it made payments for august oil transit to ukrainian pipeline operator so Ukraine made the, the uh, Russia made the payment to Ukraine's pipeline operator Ukri Transnefta on July 22nd, but the money was returned on 28th as the payment did not go through. It said the shipments were halted from August 4. Transneft said in a statement the Gazprom bank, which handled the payment, told it the money was returned because of European Union sanctions. Now, the other um, uh, article says that, um, where is this? All right. It says that Russia will suspend flows via the southern leg of the Druzhba pipeline, a spokesperson said. The pipeline supplies Europe with around 1 million barrel of crude a day, according to S&P Global. Russia has suspended oil exports via the southern leg of its Dushba pipeline, a move that could potentially exacerbate Europe's ongoing energy crisis. Well, how they stop it when the guys say, no, you can't transfer it because we didn't receive the money. So the transit country, which is Ukraine, claims we didn't receive the money from you. I don't know if the guys paid or not. They say we paid through gas, Gazprom bank, but the money was, ref uh, was returned because of the sanctions they didn't use the i don't know so then the ukrainians said sorry we didn't receive the money you can't use this part of the pipeline through our territory to transit and that's it so who's who's uh, who's folding it i don't know it says russia will suspend oil exports flow through the pipeline southern leg as a result choking of supply of to czech republic hungary and slovakia Druzhba is a 2,500 mile pipeline that supplies Europe with 1 million barrel of oil a day. Its southern leg carries crude from western Siberia to Ural Mountains to the Caspian Sea into the central and eastern Europe via or via Ukraine. So I don't know who uh, 
why would um, why would Russia turn it off when the other guy said you didn't pay you can't transit so that's what I'm saying is just uh, um, pointing fingers but the fact is no oil for you that's what happens and it's very strange as, as I said before if it would be you know all war as I say it is these pipelines would be blown up by someone even the third party it, not only the Ukrainians or the uh, Russians Chechens uh, Poles whatever someone else from outside just to create more problems it's not hard those uh, I mean there are hundreds of miles it's just going through, uh, let's say, Ukraine. Do you think they're all monitored and there are guards every 100 yards with uh, AKs ready to defend it? No. If you can pinpoint it from a satellite and send something, if you really want that, or you can just send up 12 guys, a little, little platoon. But it didn't happen. That's why this is not an all war. This is a very, very um, surgical war also with not using the uh himars more than what 60 kilometers or something or the russians not hitting this or that or the ukrainians not hitting crimea or uh, uh russia pro proper so here what's going to happen next are they going to scramble and bypass again the sanctions and allow the russians to make payments however they want if that's the case I mean, this is reported by two. The other one was Ukrainska Pravda, the second article that said the Russians stopped it. The other one was Reuters, American, who said, no, that Ukraine stopped it. And uh, it, Ukraine stopped it because they, at the end, they said, you didn't pay. I'm not going to provide you with a service for free. Again, not caring about the Europeans. But in this case, it's Hungary, so they don't care about them. And then uh, the other two, again, I don't know. So... This is the situation with, with oil. This uh, Ukrainians, Ukrainians, the leadership of Ukraine would not do anything for free. Nothing. They expect everybody else to help them, give them aid and help them and, you know, take, take food from your kids' mouth, give us to our leaders here in Ukraine, uh, but we, we will not do anything for you. Nothing. Everything is money. Everything is money. That's strange. That's strange. And then reminds me the, the story with the Canada with the turbine. When the leadership of uh, Ukraine you know, spoke with the uh, Canadians, with the weasel up, up north, what's his name, Justin, the communist, hey, don't, don't fix the turbine because of the sanctions, so the Germans cannot have gas. Oh yeah, we're going to hurt the Russians, but the Germans as well. But we don't care about anybody. We care about only about ourselves, not even our people. And here again, I don't care if those countries don't get oil. You didn't pay. Really? I mean, those guys, Czech Republic, Slovakia, those who sent uh, weapons to you, S-300s, they send money, they send whatever. You, uh, you, what's Hungary said they, they transit, they allow to transit uh, weapons over their territory. So they did something for you without having to do it. And they did it. And you wouldn't do anything. So, business as usual. So be careful when you have a Zmihal over there and a uh, Zelensky. They will just uh, tax you, bang, 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 like you have seen only in the temple when Jesus uh, turned the tables upside down, if you know what I mean. Uh, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.